Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a Bloodborne tutorial. Bloodborne weapon. The Blade of Mercy, or is it Blades of Mercy? Blade of Mercy. Well, I guess it depends. Um, I've done the Saw Cleaver. You can check that out here. That's a very popular project. I've also done the um, Burial Blade right here. That's another very popular project. But this one, those are pretty challenging to do. This one's an easy one. If you want to make a Bloodborne weapon easy, this is the one. And a one sheet of foam board and some paint and some glue is all you need. And I give you the template. And of course, it's a trick weapon, so what happens? It's got to come apart, right? To be used as two like daggers. And then you can put it back together like this. Just slide those back together. And there you go. There we go. And you have it back to, as the sword. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If not, hit that button. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, I just wanted to show you real quick how I conceptualize this uh, project. I drew out a few sketches, but then I had to worry about them fitting together exactly right, and, in order, and I didn't know how I was going to build it, so... In order to do that, I use the light box. And I do have a tutorial on how to make a light box just like this out of um, cheap parts and, of course, foam board. But this way I could draw it out draw, and then lay it over the other, one half, over the other half, and make sure that everything matched up just right so I could figure it out. And then that's what it came out to. So let's get to building it. Um, print up the template. The link is down below in the description of this video. And cut out all the various parts. And they're all lettered and numbered. And there's not a whole lot of them, but the template shows you exactly how to put them together. We're going to take pieces A1, A2, and A3, like this, A1, A2, and A3, and we're going to tape them together. And you do the same thing for parts B and parts and C. See, so B has two pieces to it shows you how to do it and C has three pieces to it C1, C2 and C3 so put all those together so you get an A, a B and a C and then lay them on foam board one sheet of foam board is all you need for this there's the A there's the B and there's the C and then trace them and trace two of the A you're gonna make two of those the rest you make one of to be in the sea. Easy project. Um, sometimes I really have a lot of fun making an easy project uh, because I know a lot of people are going to make it. So, and there you go, cut those pieces out. And then let me show you how to cut foam board easily. Use a sharp knife and you make three passes. The first pass cuts the top layer of paper, the second pass cuts deeper through the foam the core, the foam core, and the third pass you press all the way down and cut through the bottom layer of paper and that's how you make a nice clean cut without tearing. So go ahead and cut all those four pieces out. A, B, and C. A, A, B, and C. Now let's put them together. They're going to go like this. Take piece A, B, put it on top of one of the A's and mark it. Over there on the left and over here on the right. And we're only marking it so we know what to glue. And watch how fast this, this assembly goes together. This is one of the easiest assemblies. Put glue in that area that you marked off. And glue your bead down to it. Now I'll put some glue on that part, the B. And glue another A down to it. And that's it. The assembly is done. Very nice. And you can use almost any kind of glue for foam board. Hot glue is the best because it's just fast. It dries in a few seconds and it's ready to go. Or cools, or dry, dry cools, cools, dries. 
So yeah, so let's give it a try. Now, fit the pieces together, and if they don't fit well or they need a little bit of trimming, you can trim them with a, a knife to get them to look good and to fit smoothly. There you go, I like it. So do a little sanding with some sandpaper. If you have some, to smooth out all the various edges to make it look more like metal and less like cut foam board. And you're done, so let's paint it. Black, gray, white, and red. All optional. But this is how I did it. I started with a base of black, painted everything black. Both pieces. And as soon as that's done, before it's even dry, move on to the gray. And if you have silver, use that instead of the gray. It'll look even nicer because it's more metallic. And then I'll dabble this onto your black. And um, how do I describe this? The cutting edges have more gray. They're grayer. Almost it's like it's a sharp edge. And you'll see how I kind of do that. I add more gray to those edge, the cutting edge. On both uh, swords or daggers or whatever you want to call them. Blades. See, there's more silver there. But very nice. Easy project, fun to do. And once you get that all done, I mean, you can always add more black, add a little white, add a little silver. See the cutting edge? Then spackle, then put on some, splash on some red. Maybe brush on a little bit too. It gives it character. Makes it battle worn. So if you make remember if you make this project, send me a picture. Um, I will send you a certificate of contribution and put the picture on my website. So handles. The actual ones don't really have much for handles, but I wanted to add some handles. Just pin them up anywhere you like, but don't overdo them unless you want to. Make them leather colored if you want. And then give it a try. Once it's dried. Give it a try. Make any last minute adjustments, any um, sanding or any cutting and then touch up work and your, your, your blade of mercy or blades of mercy is done. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.